type engineering they're able to here's, here's a question for you joe do you think that there's any sort of limit in terms of what science maybe could do but sort of should not do you know yeah. what i mean like as, as science advances and things get a little more crazy and they're looking into things like making people immortal or all that kind of mm. in your own mind do you think there's like a a level where it's like maybe we should like leave this alone and not go not go that far i don't know what you I think. I think even if you do think that mm. and I, i'm sure that you could find examples where i would say that's a bad idea it's not going to matter mm. because i think that people are going to do it and if the united states isn't going to do it china's going to do it yeah i mean i think china is already experimenting on people in pretty pretty radical ways they're really? doing yeah they're doing crispr on fetuses and you know they're they're going to do genetic engineering. I think it's in, you know, it's just in the cards. Mm. In our lifetime, we're going to see some product of genetic engineering that's some super freak athlete. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, when you and I are old men, we're going to be <laughs> watching television or whatever the fuck they have back then, or in the future rather, and we're going to see someone who can fucking jump over buildings. We're going to yeah. see someone who can, you know, literally fly over cars just leap over things and just someone with preposterous physical attributes <laughs> that's all created in a laboratory yeah i mean if you think about the greatest athletes the world has ever known you know you look at like the the very best physical specimens that humanity has to offer mm -hmm. and they just figured out okay well what are the traits and how do we how do we impart those on people and how do we actually improve them how do we double them and triple them mm -hmm. you know you know what myostatin inhibitors are uh yes i do they allow the muscle to grow far beyond what yeah. it normally can and they exist in um for whatever reason um in some cows mm -hmm. naturally and also whippets yeah bully which whippets. is yeah, it's really yeah, weird it's jacked up. <laughs> so weird dude. i've shown people pictures and they're like that's not real yeah, i'm yeah. like it is real <laughs> something with whippets apparently when they breed them you mm -hmm. know like breeding dogs is weird. Like I have a friend who has a chocolate lab and their eyes are about as close together as my two fingers are. Yeah. That dog is fucked. Like it just, it's just like, I don't like being around it. It'll bite you. Yeah. Like it's a, it's, it's overbred. Like it's like some fucking West Virginia hillbilly just <laughs> left alone in some small town. They can't get anywhere. And they, you know, there are people like that, right? Yeah, yeah. There's inbred people. Well, mm. there's inbred dogs. It used to be a big problem in, with royalty, right? Yes. Jeez, yes. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Cause they only had to breed with other royalty. Yeah. Um, this, whatever reason, when you breed whippets and something goes wrong, cause they're just breeding them with other whippets, mm -hmm. they develop this fucking preposterous ability to grow muscle <laughs> and they look like Hulk dogs. Yeah, it's nuts. That's going to happen to people, man. There was already a boy who was born in Germany, I believe, who had a natural, uh, problem. He's like his body naturally had the same issue that a whip it had. Have you, have you ever think, seen that? I kid? think I know. I'm trying to actually remember his name because I know the kid you're talking about. See if you can pull that up. Well, there was one kid they called him the Young Hulk, but yeah. it turned out that his father was actually injecting him with steroids oh, when wow. he was a little kid, which is awful. But this is a, a boy from Germany who had this myostatin inhibitor problem, and he was fucking jacked. Really? How old? He was little, yeah, like four, wow. four or five at the time when I saw the pictures, and I'm I'm talking just thick muscle caps, you know. <laughs> he he looked like Paulo Costa, the guy who fights in the UFC, yeah. just fucking jacked. That's nuts. Just jacked, jacked little baby. That's so yeah. weird. Man. We're gonna but, we're gonna see the Hulk, mm. you know, like a real live version of the Hulk. It's yeah. gonna happen. I, mean, I don't know that that kind of stuff. It it does freak me out because it's kind of like. Eugenics 2.0, right? Yeah, it is. You know, yeah. I'm just kind of like, man, where, how, where's this stuff all gonna, right. all, all gonna go? Well, there's a beauty in our diversity, mm -hmm. like our physical diversity. There's a beauty in the fact there's really tall people and really short people and really smart people, really stupid people, and sometimes stupid people are really good at certain things. Sometimes smart people are really bad at other things. Yeah. And, so, and there's, a, there's like a there's a beauty in the chaos of human life is that we are all weird and different. And, and if you can find your way, mm -hmm. everyone can make some sort of a contribution. It's not that everyone's going to make some sort of a contribution, but it's possible that most of us can find something where other people find value in what you do and you could do something in an extraordinary way. Yeah, definitely. I think, um, a great way to stay humble is to always remember that like everybody is superior superior to you in some way 
shape yeah. or form, right? You know, it seems like you've got people who are kind of awesome at everything or whatever, but it's like, you know what? Like every person out there has got something that, especially if they tapped into it and they actually reached some fraction of their potential, then people have, people are capable of all kinds of crazy things when they actually do it and they train and they work on it. Another perspective enhancer is that the grave beckons. I mean, you, we're all going to die. Yeah. And you, the, the dwelling on what you're great at or not great at in this life, it's mm-hmm. like, okay, you ain't got much time, bro. It seems like you do, but it'll be there before you know it. Mm-hmm. The, that grim reaper is going to be knocking on your door. Yeah. I, th- I think that's motivational, though. 